What the? What is this guy doing next to my base? 95, huh? That's actually pretty good. I didn't realize Spinos actually spawned there. That's kind of cool. All right, but hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger, and well, today we're actually getting rid of uh, apparently a Spino infestation. I mean, it's not really an infestation. I mean, what is it? It's more like a boil, right? I mean, I mean this the Spino wart on our on our area, yeah. I mean, a 95 Spino, though, I mean, it's almost high enough level I want to tame it, but it's not really. Dude, where are you going? Dude, wards don't run. Well, maybe they do, I guess. Get back here. See? You were j Whoa. Okay, now we've got a Carno infestation. Hello. Oh, is there a baby card on it? Oh, and bugs. And... Apparently, true dog. Oh, there's a baby card right there. Really? All right, come at me, dude. Thank you. Butt ton of raptor. More card. Wow. All right, this is what happens when you don't pay attention to your backyard and go out and trim the weeds every once in a while. You get just like all sorts of stuff just everywhere. Look at you guys. That's a 150 Raptor. Okay, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. I don't feel right ganking the 150 Raptor. Oh, oh, guys, I just said I don't want to kill the 150. Here, eat a dillo. You guys just don't give up, do you? All right, we got, we've got to get that 150. You know what? I'm going to go tame that 150. All right, guys. Yeah. Peace out. Stay right there. I mean, if there's a 150 Raptor chilling out right there that's part of the weed program in the backyard, then I'm definitely going to have to go get it. Hello. Did I take a wrong turn at Albuquerque? I think I did. Right, but yeah, it's just so weird. You see a Spino, and then all of a sudden, everything just kind of... That's not my pace. This is most certainly not my pace. This is my Hyenodon pen. Okay, I did take a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Nobody saw that. All right, let's get out through here. Um... All right, please no Microraptor, no Microraptor, no Microraptor, and guys, right, can I climb? Thank you. And they obviously and very clearly uh, fixed the Thyla jump, the climb up the walls. It's really cool. It's so much better now. I mean, it's a little, it looks a little wonky, but they're so much more efficient at actually climbing. Okay, so where were we? Uh, like... It's been about 15, 30 seconds, somewhere around there. I see the Carno. Don't see the rat. Maybe if I kill the Carno, the Raptors will come out and play. Good job, Super Dodo. Oi, Raptors! Raptors, come! Did you chase me? Bugs. I can hear the bugs. That is a weird noise. Did the raptors decide to go fight an Argent? I mean, I had those raptors pretty well beat up.
Level 10. Okay. Hey, Argent. Do you see some raptors around here? Possibly eat them? Something like that? I don't know. No, honestly, I don't need a raptor right now. I just... You know, it's 150. There goes them. That's a 15. No, that's a 50. Was I just imagining the one in front of their name? Because I thought it was a 115 and a 150. Hmm. All right, all right. Well, let's get back on track for what we were going to do. Um, today, I want to start, actually, let's see. Uh... No, 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 no. Artifact pedestals. All right, 80 Obsidian. Today, I want to start actually building on our collection of artifacts because we've got a couple. Well, we've got two of the same one. But you know what? That's fine, all right? I mean, we can have like one and two and four of the same one, but I want to start actually going and getting more, which means that we need to start uh, decorating the base with um, a bunch of uh, artifact bits that we get from inside the other bits, and then we uh, assemble those bits, and they look really pretty. I'm just saying. So the bits on bits, and it looks just amazing. All right, so that's what we're going for. Uh, I need to go find some obsidian. <laughs> Nailed it. Thank you. All right, Super Dodo, chill out right there. Uh, you've got... Oh, you still have Thylacolio bits inside of you. So you've got other bits inside of you. Okay, all right, cool. All right, chill out, man. Let's see, let's get a bunch of this stuff. All right, each one takes 80. Which means we're going to be in this for a minute. And then here I was coming around the uh, mountain, and all of a sudden you see just a little Dodicarus popping out. It's like, oh, hey, look. Oh. So that happened. All right, um... Yeah, you hear the sound effect, and you're like, oh, hey, look, what is that? Is that some sort of big, nasty boogin coming out to get me? No, it's just Dodicarus just chilling out up there. He's just picking his nose on top of the thing. He's making his own boogers. All right, let's see. There we go. I really got to say, I really love the new Metal Mountain. I mean, it was, it was cool before, but now it's just like, it actually kind of looks like it should have from the get-go. Kind of cool. See, there was another, there we go, two bits of obsidian hidden right here, carefully. Yeah, you guys thought you... Oh, it's three bits! Yes, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you guys thought you could hide and get away. Nah, you guys ain't running from nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got some floaty rocks. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to reset our widget settings. When you get floaty rocks, you got to reset that. Oh, I I I would like I like the metal, but today's not metal day. Today's absurd. As my packages gently drop towards the ground, those were invisible parachutes. All right, you guys saw that. That was great. It's peaceful up here too. This is kind of cool, you know. Until all of a sudden, it's not peaceful because you know that's what's gonna happen. I'll just be up here kind of chilling out. Oh, yeah, we got more floaty rocks. I'll be up here just kind of chilling out, not expecting anything bad. Then all of a sudden, roar! Giga or Karcha comes and eats my face. 
I thought you were just one ready to uh, just be like, oh, don't worry. I'm just trying to despawn the rest of, uh, you know, the thing. You do graphical a little bit, you know. Showing off all the drama of the Obsidian Node. As it goes out and it sinks into the ground and goes, why? I just wanted to be on the side of the hill. And then I'm like, yes, I just want to make, take you and then smack you in the face with my pick and then make something that makes my other stuff look really pretty. And then it's like, oh, but I looked good here. I'm like, nah, too bad. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. All right. One last look for... That's Sabertooth. What level are you? 55. Okay. Later, dude. Oh, man. That sucks. I could have swore that was a level 150 Raptor. Hmm. I will check back later when I edit. That is a Rex. 15. Never mind. You suck. All right. All right, so if that's Metal Mountain, and then, I mean, because the hill, they made the hill that was next to Metal Mountain much more prominent. What is, is there any good resources on this little sucker? No. All right, okay. All right, nothing cool to see here. All right. Carry on. Nothing to see. There is a... <laughs> a green dodicarus and a albino inky. 85. Alb oh, that is so cool looking. Dude, you are... Well, I, I wouldn't want to tame you. I mean, I might if you were a higher level, but I mean... That's a very unique looking Anki. I mean, I'm not sure if it's a good unique or a bad unique. You guys decide. Honestly, I just think it was rather unique. I think it's kind of kooky. And... Sabertooth! Oh, I missed. Okay, I, I was trying to be all, you know... Like, elite skilled and stuff, and then it's like, nah. Oh, hey! Okay, you know, we might as well, right? Dude! Oh, you're only hitting for 18. Okay, I'm not sure how good you're gonna... What? All right, Tony the Tiger, stop with the butt biting, all right? All right, I don't want to eat your Frosted Flakes, man, all right? Now you're stuck. What level is this? This Pteranodon's been hanging out for a couple days. 95. Not bad. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh... Hey, Tony. How you doing, man? Oh, sorry. Got your face. Got your nose. Got your tooth. How bloody are you? Yeah, you're pretty bloody. How much health did you have? <laughs> oh, I almost could have killed you. All right, okay. All right, that makes sense. Okay, what is your pre tame stats? Not like they really matter. Eh. Yeah, well, you better be good or else we're just gonna get rid of you. I'm just saying. All right, uh, oh. Oh, I forgot, I totally have those on me. 
All right, well, let's get this loaded up. I mean, the guy will be fine starving up, right? I mean, he's fine, right? I mean, if he's starving up, he's fine, right? All right, let's get this stuff crafted. And we'll go get some. Oh, wow, I've got 80. Oh, it's because of all this. All right. We'll put the carrots back away where they were supposed to be to begin with. And then, uh, let's see, uh, we need to uh, go to the cave. That's right. That's that's what we're going to do. Right, Super Dodo? We were going, not you, Super Dodo. I was going to go to the cave, not you. All right, I do have to go get some prime meat, which uh, maybe Snickerdoodle's got some prime meat from uh, a, a certain Spino that may have uh, uh, had a bad day. All right, so we got six of these. Nice. All right, so what I'm thinking about doing is getting that loot drop. There's a raptor right down there, too. All right, what was that? Uh, Sarko saddle. Okay, we definitely need to get ourselves a Sarko. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, so if we prop this down up here, let's see, come like this. Uh, let's see, one, two. Here we go, one, two. Actually, we go just like this. Um, now it's a little bit not straight, but you know what? It should be fine. All right, so we'll start this one. Bam, Cave of the Hunter. Yeah, So what I'm talking about. And they'll be right up here. And you know, maybe I could actually just sink them inside the, um, the ceiling. I mean, that could be kind of cool. All right, let's go see what else we can... Uh, let's go see if we can get another one. All right, so we did have this 162, 120 durability, but now we've got 252 durability. Now, uh, also with torches, um, I know most people already know this, but you can actually color them. I don't color them because I like the orange light of them. Uh, because usually when I use a torch, it's where everybody around, you know, it, it makes it so where... You know, everybody can actually see when I'm in a dark area. And if I do it weird colors, it's going to get wonky. We're going to have, like, I mean, some disco light stuff going on inside the caves. And all I am is trying to just get, um, you know, all you guys able to see what's going on. Yeah. And instead, it's going to be, uh, we're going to be in there. The Arthur players like, oh, and the Araneo, you know, they come in, and then the, you got the, the boas, you know, joining in, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, you know, the, the torch just starts doing, like, the strobe effect, you know, and maybe I'm doing it without actually showing everybody that I'm just putting away the torch and putting it back out, and then you can only see, like, every half second as the beat's going on and the... The insects are, or I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but me, it sounds like a good time. I'm just saying, all right? We don't want that. Never let your Araneo have a good time. I'm just saying, all right? It's a public service announcement. All right, let's get up to the cave. All right, and before we go, uh, yeah, because I know everybody is going to be like, oh, what about the saber tooth? Well, what about the saber tooth? I mean, he's had food on him this whole time, right? It'll be fine. And he's good. 184. 1600. 230. Okay. Yeah, he's crap. Tony the Tiger. You're kind of garbage, all right? I'm just saying. Yeah. There you go. All right. Now, this is a cool looking Arjun. Level 40. That's like some weird Halloween type art. Hello! Alright, that's some weird Halloween type Argent. Even though it's not Halloween, it's the turkey trial thing. Okay, you were level 25. It's like, please don't be level 150. Please, no. And he's like, nope, don't worry. All right, let's get over here to this cave. Oh, look at this. A blue with a ring. Oh, let's see what kind of loot this is. It's probably going to be something just awful. 
But you know what? I'm still going to get it. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to love it, and it's going to be ours. That'll work. Um, I don't like kite and armor. Um, whoop, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm not going to hide that. I don't like kite and armor. I, I can do with a little less butt flaps in my life. Um, yeah, it's good stuff when you're low level. Hello! Good! I mean, it's good stuff when you're low level and you've got nothing else, but I just don't like kite. All right, but so we should be just about at the cave. Nailed it. All right, I'm going to get a respawn shack set up here because it's important. Hop on. All right, and this one's even got a storage shack to hold our terror bird saddle. Remind me, I have to get that when I'm done. All right. Okay, so let's get, uh, yeah. We're wearing hide armor for this. Uh, how much does it cost to repair this stuff? Quite a bit. Um, all right, all right. We'll just have to make sure we don't die right away. I know. I know. That's a tall order. See if we can get down through here. And also, this is also part of a really good test that I want to do is just how effective Baryonyxes are in this cave. Because, honestly, Baryonyxes have been notoriously really, really good. Oh, that's a good screenshot have taken have been really really good in the caves and i just want to kind of make sure they're like super super good still i probably should have brought some antidotes so there's a dung beetle right there the snake. All right, we'll let the snake come to us. Come on, snake. My right, snake's toast. Is the music still going? I think there's another snake back there that was like, oh yeah, I want to get me a piece of that, but no. All right. Also important. Yeah. We got the super fiber bushes in here. That'll be great for repairing our armor. All right, so in this cave, you come down, you go to the right. I mean, you can go to the left, but the left... What the? This is one of the best parts about the Baryonyx. They can take out the Onyx no problem whatsoever.
Come on, guys. The floor is just moving in here. You know, Barry, you're doing great, but I think we need to actually go with the son of Barry because your melee damage is really low. Come on. I mean, if we see a uh, Megalosaurus, yeah, I, I, we're not gonna be able to deal with that. Not with this melee damage. Couple scorpions. And here, if we went left, we meet back up with that uh, um, the cave from earlier. Oh, that's a 145 Duncan. Sorry, dude. Sorry, I had to poop. But yeah, uh, the left one curves around to the upper left section. There's also sometimes loot back there. I will eventually go over there uh, to see the loot, but yeah. torch all right all right and also making sure don't get overloaded now this cave is generally called the cave the chitin cave uh just because there is so much chitin in here um i mean just so much you come in here if you ever need chitin come in here with a wolf baryonyx something you'll come out of here with a lot and it wouldn't be a cave run if i didn't get mega rabies I gotta run up to the surface. Left all the way. And this is also why I take the right way going down so when you're coming back, it's just follow the left path the entire way. And I gotta wait for this rabies to fade. All right, hey, this is actually... That's kind of a good screenshot right there. I like that. Let's get up here in our respawn shack just in case because I have a feeling we might be dying. 17 seconds and 50 health. Oh, we might live. We could live through this. A broken leg. All right, we lived. Woo, good job, foo. And it... I know I don't have the shoulder pet, but I got I got the chibi foo, so we got a foo with us at all times. All right, the noises of this cave are intense. This is great. So far, though, the baryonyx is just going right down through here without a problem. This is good. There's a lot of bats out here. Hello. That's some interesting lighting right there. Scorpions don't bug me, it's the bats that bug me. I will get this cleared. And of course, now we got Arthur in the mix. And a dung beetle decided it wanted to start aggroing. A bunch of dung beetles. Geez, she hit one dung beetle, all of them were like, how dare you beat up Bob? All right, come on. And of course, I got rabies again. If 
Back up out. Did I get turned around? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Alright, now I have to admit, these new caves that they did, it's such an interesting experience now. Oh, really? You're still aggroed on me? Really? I went out for a while. Dude, I was out there healing and you're still mad? All right. But yeah, the new caves, just the feel of them. It, I mean, if you're claustrophobic, I mean, this may actually, uh... I mean, I'm not saying it will, but I mean, honestly, this is, it, this is cool. Thank you. Oh, hey, look, we found obsidian. Here's the artifact. Scorpions. And of course, the dung beetle went to go get his buddies. Goes running over there. Hey, look, it's the guy that killed Bob. Quick, everybody, go get him. Yeah, that just happened. Oh, not Arthoplura. Okay. All right, we're doing this. Sure. At least there's no bats. Spiders and bats mixed, that's the worst. Spiders, bats, and Arthoplores mixed is the worst. Thank you. Check this other side first. Eh, a bat. Never hear the stray, the stray screech. Always check the ceiling. I'm not sure this bat knows what it wants. Well, I know what it wants. It wants to give me uh, a mega ring. All right. Let's get this. Hey, Araneo! Let's get this artifact. You have to be careful right here, because this thing is filled with mega prana. Nailed it! Another one for our collection! We got loot! Yeah, always check behind the artifact, there might be loot. That's not bad! Another torch and Carbo Enema saddle. That's kind of cool. Or turtle cell. Yeah. And also, if your baryonyx ever runs out of fish, there's always a ton of fish inside there. All right, well, let's get our butt out of here. Wow, this, is a, this was a good trip. And I gotta admit, oh my God, the echoey sounds through here, they are just so good. They nailed the sound of the caves so much whoever's working on the audio for here bravo this is good all right let's get our butt back to base get this thing set up on its trophy base on our artifact pedestal over oh, a bit encumbered uh but yeah i mean seriously also i mean i've been throwing out a whole bunch of the chitin that i've been getting if you ever need a chitin that's the place to get it. I mean, just inside there. Also, um, the Cave of the Immune, the Swamp Cave, the one in the Redwoods. Yeah, that one's really good, too. All right. Yeah, you can take a poop in peace now, Barry. You did great, dude. 
All right, Kermit, don't worry. You'll get your chance to shine here soon, too. Hey, Velvet, how you doing? All right, let's get... Uh, Super Dodo, I need to take you to take me back up. All right, so we got one over on that side. Let's take this one right here. Cave of the... Uh, Artifact of the Clever. Ah, uh, that one looks pretty good, too. Oh, wow. All right. So, hey, I hope you guys had a lot of fun today. I know I totally did. Ah, uh, this is great. All right. So, we got the artifact. Uh, we had a bunch of fun. We lost a raptor. Uh, we tamed up a really horrible Tony the Tiger. But, yeah, hey, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I'm, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> if you're new around here, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, hey, until um, next time, this is Flinger. Take it easy, everybody.